you know, I feel like everyone who believes in God, they're, you know, taught. And then at one point they get to a certain point where they ask questions and then they have to make a decision as to not whether or not they're going to continue or not. Mm -hmm. Where are you at with Jesus? Because because that's what some people will say about God. But like, where are you at, Jesus, the resurrection? Bruce Lawn. What do you think there is if, if you had to take a, a guess like at the industry? Right. What do you think there is about Hollywood, media, entertainment, hip hop that has this dark element to it where basic stuff that you said this basic stuff we did in basketball bro but you hear about these other artists that are like no nah, man you can't tell me you know and getting kicked off the tour or leaving the tour mm. what do you think that is about that that scene that that just seems like it's it's like the upside down like it's just would some stuff is just backwards right i think um just the idea of standing on a stage and having people like you know watching you while you're up there yeah it's very like, it's it's not normal. Yeah. Even just like you know having a phone to your face is not normal. Yeah. And I think a lot of the like, like there's an escapism where it's like you wanna you wanna get away. Like you don't want to actually mentally fully be there because not only is it like nerve wracking, you know, you're nervous and all these things. Yeah. So it's like you end up doing substances to escape. Mm. Yeah. You know, from the reality, even though the reality is like you know, quote unquote, it's dope. Yeah. But you don't want to just like be there sober. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, you know, when you go to the club, you're just going to like, I remember like when I was uh, trying, like I went to the club a couple of times back when I used to go out. I was like, man, let me just try like not drinking here. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, this doesn't, this doesn't even make sense. It's not as cool when sober. you're not drinking. Yeah. It, doesn't, it literally, <laughs> you look around. Music's too loud. You can't like, really have a conversation. Right, like, what's, yeah. what's really like, so I think it's almost like that in the music stuff because there's, you know, everything's such easily accessible, mm -hmm. but without anything like yeah. altering your brain, you almost start looking at it like, yeah, wait, hold up. Yeah. Do you think there's anything going on in the in the supernatural, in the spiritual realm of just the 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 scriptures talk about like there's the prince of the air? Mm. You know what I mean? Do you think have you seen some of that kind of stuff? I think there's definitely a lot. Of, I think there's spiritual warfare going on for sure. Yeah. Um, I've always been on the outside of the industry looking in. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not in any of the places like yeah. where people say quote unquote this that yeah. that. I've never seen anything or been yeah. put in a situation like that. Yeah. But I think you know there's there's stuff going on you know and i i the end times are here i'm, I'm just i'm gonna be complete completely honest you know yeah. yeah it's crazy yeah yeah you wrote the song dear god yes sir which is when people really started like because i already knew who you were but people were like yo check out dear god check out dear god. you should reach out to dax check mm -hmm. out, and i was like okay like this is this is cool you know that, that, that you're, you're thinking about these things i always find it interesting when artists that that don't overtly brand themselves as Christians hmm. are having these thoughts and these ideas, and then you did the response, it was almost like a response to to Dear God. It felt like, or I don't is know, is that it was Child that, of God? Child of God, okay. right? Which was felt like the release, right? Dear God so was that, questions, Child of God was statements, right? And would you say that was kind of the? Would you say you've always maintained a degree of faith in God, or would you say that was when after you got sober and all these things started right. happening? the art and and you asking questions and then doing the responses and all and you kind of start being more aware of who god is for me personally i've never personally questioned god okay people like see my dear god song but they like you know i think they missed the fact even in the beginning i'm like you know i believe sometimes it gets hard mm -hmm. so essentially to me dear god is like you know i feel like everyone who believes in god they're you know taught and then at one point they get to a certain point where they ask questions and then they have to make a decision as to not whether or not they're going to continue or not mm-hmm you know, so I felt like dear God was essentially giving every single question one might have mm -hmm. and letting them know it's okay to have these questions. Mm -hmm. For me with God, just, you know, you meet my mother, you'll see she's praying all the time, mm -hmm. you know, and just like, as I've grown older, the way my brain works, I've always thought of things logically and I've always just been like, okay, so, you know, everything has, you know, we accept everything that has a creator, this, mm -hmm. someone created this shirt. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. I was just like, as a kid, this was around 11 when I just started doing all stuff. I was like, okay, well, if everything has a creator, well, then I'm like, human beings are the most intricate and most complicated thing. Yeah. So something had to make us. Yeah. If, I, if I'm going to believe something made this basketball. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that was my just like, there has to be a God. Yeah, yeah. So I just always stuck to that. And that's yeah. my explanation whenever someone asks. So I've never really questioned it. They call it the fine tuning theory. Hmm. When, you've, when you really look at how intricate the universe is right. to, to the detail of your eyeball and all that kind of stuff you go th this it is impossible that something this deliberate and this fine-tuned right. could have came without a creator behind right. it sometimes as a creator yourself as a, as an artist yourself you know that like wait a minute, wait a minute this came together but it almost feels like something other worldly like inspires you to create you know right. so you're like 
you know, it, whether we call it flow state or whatever, you right. know, you know that there's something happening. Right. And I don't mean to be like in a weird, like, oh, you go into trance, but you could just feel this like aspect, even though our conversation right now, like there's this, that we're creating something in real time, right. you know, and it, and you go, yeah, that's, that, that doesn't happen on accident. Like there's right. something behind that. Right. The you know? world is creation. Everything is like, that's what yeah. the world is. Everything, cre like even creating a child, like yep. we all, we all create yes. every single day. Yes. So something created us yeah. and there's, you can't tell me it was just some randomness, right. you know? Right. So that's, that's me and God right there. So yeah, me personally, I know a lot of people probably think I've had like questions with my faith, but I haven't. Yeah. And uh, growing up as a kid, I would always speak and people would always be like, yo, I was just thinking that. Mm -hmm. I would like talk in the car and say something. I'd be like, that's crazy. I was just thinking that. Mm -hmm. So I've always like sort of spoken yeah. for people, yeah. you know, which is why the hardest part for me sometimes with music is like choosing what type of pronouns I'm going to use mm -hmm. in terms of like personal pronouns mm -hmm. or general, mm -hmm. I or you. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you sounds weird. Mm -hmm. so sometimes you sounds like you're yelling at the listener. Right. You know what I mean? Whereas I or we sounds like I'm processing this externally. Right. By the way, there's a strong message to this. Exactly. And yeah. then I also like saying I, you know, obviously there are some songs that are about my life or whatever it is, mm -hmm. but I like to say I, so that way anyone singing along, mm -hmm. it becomes an affirmation. Yeah, yeah. I think the tough part for people to process about art in general is that there are times where you may be embellishing, you know? Right. And it's not in a, I'm trying to be deceptive. It's in trying to capture a moment so that other people can relate to it. Right. So that the truth can be packaged into it, right. right? And I think sometimes people can kind of struggle with like how literal is are those questions that you're asking in that right. song where you're like, no, 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 you don't get it. I'm actually writing for the consumer right. and asking questions people actually have right. about God in an attempt to communicate and build common ground with them. Amen. That's dope. So tell me where I, I you said your New Year's resolution or one of your goals in 2022 was to go to church more. Right. Um I, I think you said that was on a bootleg Kev. Um how was that going? I know you said you popped into a couple of churches here and there. Yeah, it wasn't. I mean, I went to church home. Church home, yeah. Shout out to Judah, Judah Smith. right? So yeah. I went there. So I, I accomplished that goal in 2022. I think you, I only you went, went once. I think I went twice. Okay, twice. I that's, hey, that's a start, <laughs> baby. I'll take it. Let's hey, go. I'm not, I'm not in LA all the time. You know what yeah, I mean? So, yeah. you know, I hit that. Yeah. Um, that was great. Haven't been yet this year, but yeah. I will. My mom will make sure of it. Hey, you want to see something crazy? Over 51% of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. Do me a favor. Please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything we have going here. I appreciate you. Where, where are you normally up in uh, north of LA? Uh, I'm, I'm normally, I'm, I'm normally, honestly, it's all, it depends on where the music video is being shot. Okay. Where are you at with Jesus? Because because that's what some people will say about God, but like where are you at Jesus, the resurrection, all that good that's stuff. That's my guy. Yeah, that's that's the guy. That's my guy. Yeah, yeah. So you believe the resurrection of Jesus bodily that that actually happened? Yeah, I it's believe I believe event. that there was a there was a man by the name of Jesus. Did did he die for your sins and yes, rise from the grave? I believe all that. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. It's you've also been kind of like man, I I believe, but. I'm, I I wrestle with the idea of like organized religion. Right. I I, I that's that's the one thing that that's hard for me. It's like belief for me is easy. You know, I don't I I don't like the fact that you know, you know, there's ten thousand different religions. Mm -hmm. So essentially, you know, it's the game of telephone. And if one religion doesn't necessarily fit to the confines of what you may think is right or wrong, you're going to alter it mm -hmm. and create your own, which is why there's mm -hmm. so many. Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing I struggle about with religion. Yeah. Is that it's like it, it is man it's it's man made at this point because there's so many different man made religions mm -hmm. you know and do you think that's what kind of prevents you from wanting to to press deeper into church and community and being around more more mm. more followers of Jesus? Not necessarily. I've always just you know I just I really don't go out that much you know yeah but like I I like church you know yeah. especially like you know Judah's a great speaker. I tell yeah. I tell him I tell him all that. I'm like yo what you're saying is actually dope. Like I actually like listening. Yeah. yeah. You know, I grew up in Catholic church where it was like, you know, yeah, Father yeah, yeah. Frank and it was like, <laughs> he's like, Hey bro, how yeah. long is this? I'm trying not to pass out during yeah. the, you know, the 20 minute like yep. sermon part. Yep. Yep. So, you know, like I like, I like hearing dope content be spoken to me because I like to learn from it. Yeah. Well, you're also thinking of it from a creative standpoint right. as well. Right. Cause you're like, oh, okay. Like, Oh, that story hits. Right. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm the same way where, you know, and, and I could do this. I've, I've done this to a fault where I can just become like a, a preacher junkie. Like I'll mm. like dive deep. You know what I mean? But right. that, that's not always helpful either. Cause right. like that you're supposed to take it and apply it and implement it into your right. life. You know, that's awesome, man. I, 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 I'm, 
I'm excited to see like where all of this takes you, mm. you know? I'm I'm excited to see you more be be more overt about your faith mm. online. I feel like I've seen that just just from the the window we've been following each other on Instagram. Like I feel like even just in that window, I see you be more and more overt. And I don't know if that's intentional or not, but even in the music stuff, it seems mm. like you're you're so vulnerable in the art, you know? But I feel like you saying these things, I think, is gonna help a lot of these kids that are like they they need they need to think about this in a different way. And it may not come from a Christian rapper. And that's not, and that's no di- or it may not even come from someone like me, you know what I mean? That makes overtly Christian content. It mm. may be like you're the on ramp. They might see you, see you on an interview like this, and then go down a rabbit hole and get oh, and then you know get into a pastor, get into a church. You know what right. I mean? And I think that's that's dope because I think the the, the the fallacy that the fans have is they're going to be like, all right, cool. So Dax, when are you making Christian rap music now? Right. And when is all the <laughs> we don't want no more right. profanity? Right. You know what I mean? Like, see, and, and I don't even. I, I that's why it's hard because I'm never going to put myself inside of a box. That's why like you know I'll, sometimes I'll put like on a heading for a TikTok. Oh. Yeah. Uh, recording a rapper who believes in God, yeah. or record, you know what I mean. I yeah. do, I do stuff like that. Like I've always been like I love, I love saying God, and yeah. you know, my goal has always been to grow while also glorifying God's name. Yeah, you know, my mom's on me about that, so I'm always big on that. Yeah. How does your mom feel about everything you do now? Oh, she loves it. Yeah, she loves it. She's happy that I'm making you know positive based music, yeah. glorifying God's name. All we talk about is God, literally. So yeah. it's just usually just about you know make sure you're still praying and glorifying God's name as you continue to grow. Yeah, and you know mention him and putting him in the forefront and all these things. Yeah. Well, I appreciate yeah, yeah. you, brother. Guys, check out. Dax on all platforms. It's Dax. It's Dax. And uh, check out uh, To Be A Man. We're going to go over to our Patreon exclusive segment. I'm going to ask Dax two more two more questions. I'm going to ask what is the biggest misconception about him? Mm. And what was it like working with Trippy Red and just all of his relationships in the industry? He's been going crazy if you guys don't know. So uh, join us over there. All right. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see the full extended version of this podcast, be sure to sign up for our Patreon community for only $5 a month. It'll really help us continue contextualizing the gospel using YouTube, media, and podcasting. And in exchange, you will get full unedited versions of the podcast, of our daily after-party streams, a discount for our merch store, and exclusive access to our private Discord server. It's only $5 a month. The link for Patreon is in the description of this video as well as the pinned comment below. Again, hit the link in the description, sign up now, and I'll see you over there, all right? Peace.